What do you do now to entice and somehow get Anthony Joshua into the ring so that the fans can see what they want to see and you can get the fight that you want so desperately? You know, I've been waiting on that fight for a long time now. Me versus A. Juice and J. <laughs> Listen, mate. <laughs> <laughs> I, declare, I declare war upon you. Do you accept my challenge? Or are you still gonna squat while as you piss? I've been waiting for a long time, baby. I know I'm the champion. I know I'm the best. Do you, is you up for the test? Like, I just wanna prove that I am the best. You know, I know I'm the best. I just wanna prove that I am the best. Don't y'all wanna see one champion, one face, one name? He go by the name of Deontay Wilder, baby. People question the people that you've beaten, but you're only permitted to fight the people who will fight you. And you have 39 wins now and 38 knockouts. His promoter, Eddie Hearn, says you should come over and fight Dylan White. Will you do that if that's what it takes to get a fight with Joshua? The thing about it, a king don't chase a peasant. King chase kings. I want Joshua. Kings fight kings. And Deontay Wilder does not chase peasants. Hmm. See, you want to know the problem with Deontay Wilder saying that? Is because when you look on the WBC rankings, okay, Dominic Brazil is ranked number, what, I believe fourth or fifth, okay? And Dylan White is ranked number one. If it's really about the best fighting the best and all you want to do is prove that you're the best and kings don't chase peasants, then why are you fighting Dominic Brazil instead of fighting Dylan White, who's ranked higher both than Tyson Fury? If it's really about the best Fight the best. So you mean to tell me. If Dylan White is a peasant. Then what the fuck is Dominique Brazil? Answer that question. Please. Because that is a direct contradiction. To everything that he's been saying. But it's no shocker. Okay. You claim you want to fight the best. You claim you want to prove you are the best. Yet when it comes to to the selection of fighting the best, you're not fighting the first or the second or the third. You're fighting the fifth best guy. How is that a person that want to prove that he just wants to fight the best? And how is that not chasing a fucking peasant? Explain that to me. See, I understand what Deontay Wilder is trying to do. He's trying to build up his profile. But what doesn't make sense to me is why take the long way around? You could get the profile boost that you needed and that you're trying to do currently by fighting a Dylan White, which is what Eddie Hearn and his team wanted you to do in the first place. Instead, you want to take the long way around by building your profile, fighting the Dominique Brazils of the world, an opponent that Anthony Joshua fought in his 17th fight and worked. He worked Brazil. Did you see Brazil face? He worked that guy. Okay. Dominic Brazil was treated as a practice target for Anthony Joshua. So why take the long way around and fight Dominic Brazil when you can speed this entire process up by fighting a Dylan White? Now, the interesting thing about Dominic Brazil in their um, press conference. The interesting thing about that was this. And I want you diehard Wilder fans to pay attention to this. Answer this question. Do you notice every single time anybody ever brings up Deontay Wilder's resume? Okay. And say that he has fought bums, soup cans, and cab drivers. He never defends his boxing record. Do you notice that? He never denies that he fights bums. Not one time. 
Go and track my record if, if you think I'm playing. Try to pay attention to any time anybody has ever had something to say about his resume. He never directly answers back in a, in a response to people saying something about his resume. He just simply talks about something else. That in itself lets you know that he know, that we know, his boxing record ain't shit. Dylan White brought it up. He had no response for it. When Tyson Fury brought it up, he didn't have no response for it. When Dominic Brazil brought it up, he didn't have no response for it. When uh, Eddie Hearn brought it up, he didn't have no response for it. And how many other countless others? How many times have people said, this guy has fought nobodies? He's on. You remember when Tyson Fury said, the guy's only had three fights or two fights. He never defends his boxing record. Do you notice that? And obviously, if a king don't chase peasants, then Deontay Wilder obviously ain't no king because Dylan White is ranked way higher than Dominic Brazil, is a better fighter than Dominic Brazil, is a bigger profile boost than Dominic Brazil, and currently he's pulling his own pay-per-views. Something that Deontay Wilder is not doing his damn self. You know, they trying to give me a peasant as in Dylan White, but they don't want to put Joshua on that contract. Why should I go to England to fight a peasant when, without the king on the contract? You know, king don't chase peasants, like I said. All right, let's talk about Joshua in a moment. Since we had such a quick stoppage here, let's take a look and tell me in your mind, other than just delivering a severe beating, what this really proves against a guy who's fought once in three years, came in 15 pounds heavier, hadn't fought in two years. Tell us about it here. Yeah, first off, man, you got to give a props to Severn, man. For what? Uh, for, for, you know, for, for, you know, getting in the ring, man. It takes a lot of courage, it takes a lot of pride to step in the ring with somebody like me. So, you know, man, he, at least he stepped up.